Welcome back everyone to Wes Explains Best. Today we're going to be doing a Khan Academy tutorial on ArcLink. So this is for all our geometry students, specifically over chapter 10, so let's go ahead and get started. A circle with circumference 20 has an arc with a 72 degree central angle. What is the length of the arc? So before we begin, we need to understand something about arc length. So even though it gives us a circumference for this problem, we need to know that circumference equals 2 pi Oops, I wrote a pi, not two. Two times pi times the radius. So that's for future reference. In this problem, it already gives us the circumference, so we don't need to do anything with it. But it is useful to know for the general form formula for arc length, which we will get to in a moment. So that's AL for arc length. So another thing we need to understand is what is the difference between arc length and arc measure? So it's, it already talks about an arc with a 72 degree central angle. So one of the properties of a circle is its central angle has the same proportion of the circle as the arc measure. So this is the arc measure. It's the, the measure of how much of the circle it's going around on the outside. So that's arc measure. And it matches its central angle. So that's the second thing. Uh, so if we put these two together, how do we find out how much this arc length is? Arc length is a measure of distance. So how do we figure that out if we know that circumference is the whole distance around a circle? Well, I like to envision a problem where we have only half a circle. So if we draw a diameter here, and there's our center, we can find out how many, how many degrees this part of the circle is. And so that's 180 because it's a straight line. So 180 degrees, how much of that is the whole circle? We already said it's half a circle, so we know it's half. But how do I know using the measure of that half circle? Well, 180 degrees is out of how much of the total? Well, the total is 360 degrees. We know that in a circle, it has 360 degrees all the way around. So 180 divided by 360 gives us one half. So we can just take our circumference, multiply by one half, and that will tell us the distance around this half circle. So how do we apply that for any given situation? Well, so we're gonna take our circumference, and that's two pi r, two times pi times the radius, and we're gonna multiply that by whatever angle it gives us, okay? That's our arc measure. So theta is gonna represent our arc measure and we divide that by 360. This tells us what portion of the circle we have. This is our portion. So once we do all this, it will give us our arc length, okay? Now, in this problem, it already gives us the circumference. Their circumference is, this is another way to express it, by the way, uh, theta divided by 360 times circumference. Big C is their cir circumference. We already know circumference is 20. So I'm going to write 20 here for circumference. We know our arc measure is 72, and we're going to divide that by 360. So I'm going to get my calculator. I do 20 times 72, and then I divide that by 360. If you want, you can do 72 divided by 360 first, and this gives me four. But if you wanted to, you could do 72 divided by 360 just to see that this gives you uh, one over five or 0.2. So this portion of the circle, this arc measure is one fifth of the whole circle. So the circumference is, or this portion of the arc length is gonna be one fifth of the entire circumference. So let's go ahead and put four. That was our answer there. Don't get mistaken with the times one fifth. Four is the length of this arc measure and whatever the units are. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next question. A circle has a radius of 10. An arc in this circle has a central angle of 72. What is the length of the arc? So now um, it says we can either use 3.14 or leave it in exact terms with pi. So we're gonna leave it in exact terms of pi because I think that's what most of your geometry teachers are gonna want on your tests and quizzes. That's what I want would want personally, and it allows you to forsake the calculator um, with a lot of the cases. So a circle has radius of 10, so let's mark down our, our knowns. We have a central angle of 72, so that's theta equals 72. 
and we need our formula. So our arc length, that's what we're looking for, is equal to 2 pi r times our central angle or our arc measure, however you want to frame it, divided by 360. We have all these things, so we can just input them straight into the formula. 2 times pi, and we're going to leave pi, we're not going to touch it in terms of 3.14, times 10, that was our first given, times 72, and then we divide that by 360. So I'm just going to multiply straight across. I'm going to do 2 times 10 times 72, and I'm going to divide that by 360, and I get 4. Now, don't forget about the pi at the end, because I did not multiply it by pi, so I left it in terms of pi, so we're going to type that in for the arc length, 4 pi. There we go. So we got one more that we're going to do here. A circle has a circumference of 12. It has an arc length of 8 over 5. What is the central angle of the arc in, deg in degrees? So this is a great problem because it's making us solve for one of the variables in our equation. So we already know that arc length equals 2 pi r times theta over 360. The more you write it, the more you understand it. Or we can write that arc length equals circumference times theta over 360, theta being our central angle. So what are our givens? Well, we're given that their circumference is 12, so we'll put that in, 12 equals. We're also given, let's make this more of an L, we're also given that the arc, uh, it has an arc length of 8 over 5. So we're going to put the 8 over 5 in for arc length. Let me make that blue so we know we're substituting that in. So 8 over 5 over here. We also know that we still multiply it by theta, and that's what it's asking for. What is the central angle? So we're leaving theta alone, and we divide by 360. So the first thing I would do is I would do 8 over 5, and I would multiply that by 360. I want to get rid of the fractions as soon as possible. So multiply both sides by 360. Once I do that, I get 576 on the left side of the equation, and I get 12 times theta on the right. So now I'm just going to do 576 divided by 12. Divided by 12. And once I do that, I get theta equals 48. So even though we're not solving for the arc length, we can use what we know the arc length formula to solve for a missing angle in this case. So we're going to type in 48. And there we go. I hope you guys found this uh, tutorial useful. Good luck on all your endeavors in geometry, and until next time, be good, be kind, be true, be nice, and be honest.